Today I show you how to fix the cordless battery that wouldn't charge and wouldn't start. Here I show you on a Parkside battery, 2 amp hours, but this is really valid for any power tool, cordless power tool battery. Here this battery you see it's, it has an indicator and it's red and I started using it when it was already red and I thought I'll just a little bit more, but it was not a good idea. I use it also in a tool that is doesn't have the built-in uh, safety feature for uh, lithium batteries. It's a custom custom drill and I was able to deplete this battery below the limit that it's allowed in the charger. So here the output 21.5 volts at 2.4 amps and it will charge only if the battery is above a specific level just like the car battery this is a safety feature and actually you should think very careful before you do this because it's it might make the battery not safe as in it might start uh, getting overheated and even worse it could start burning the charger will do this when the battery is either not balanced or depleted it blinks the red and the green kind of like a warning something you don't want to see what happened here for briefly uh, for about 10 minutes I used this tool too much and it depleted the battery and I thought it's uh, let's give it a try minus to minus <coughs> minus to minus plus to plus in simple terms, what I'm doing here is the same as what you do in your car battery when the battery is too low. You use another battery to jump start the first battery. So at this point, this is the new battery. This works perfectly. It's already charged. I will need to charge it though. Before charging the new battery, I was going to give the old battery, depleted battery, just enough power to jump start it so it can start charging on the regular charger. And I'm using really just electrical wires here, but you have to be careful. These wires, they might overheat pretty quickly, depending on the thickness. So you wouldn't need to keep these wires on too long. And most important, you connect the plus two plus and negative minus two minus always like this and really the order doesn't matter it's not like in the car here but basically three to five seconds should be enough we're gonna jump start we're gonna jump start these batteries just like the cars it's really useful if you put them facing each other and I use a little screwdriver to press, try not to put too much pressure on the contacts of the battery. You don't want to loosen them. All you want to do is connect these wires for about three to five seconds. There is still no transfer of power between them. The only time when that happens is when I finish connecting both sides. So for now, it's not a big deal to touch them around. But now I'm connecting the negative on one of the batteries and then here I'm a little bit more careful, <laughs> worry also. Yeah, it's good to do this outside in case something happens to the batteries, but I was feeling the, wi the wire is getting a bit warm, conductor was getting a bit warm. Really trying to make good contact inside without changing the shape of the contact. That's the best important thing. Okay, it's getting hot. Okay. Okay. It's charging it. 
it started charging and it still shows that it's depleted because it has a long way to go until it's full but now this depleted battery it's actually usable again and i did charge it and it was all fine eventually i'm gonna keep an eye on it just in case but still the battery is really pretty good later i will try to open it and see if there is anything unbalanced inside the cells if they are not balanced now you have to be careful with this one careful with this one to be sure that i don't mix them up i wrote on the battery really maybe too much i overdid it here i don't know so you can never be too sure just to be actually the a1 is the old one and b1 is the new one the new battery already works as it came in the box so it's really ready to use but i will fully charge it before using it the first time and i was trying to use the multimeter to show you the voltages but multimeter wasn't working okay all charged ready to go really hot it did its job battery it's a bit hot here but it's because it was from the charger the cells are below okay that's the A1 I will still keep an eye on it just in case I will or not I'll be careful with this battery but I think it's pretty good I will fully charge this one too Okay I didn't really need two batteries before I thought but actually I did need two batteries because I the reason why this battery was depleted is because I didn't have another one to use it so it's always good to have two you can charge one while you use the other one and like this you always have a battery ready to use when you need to I don't use the drill much but when I needed it it was really useful to have it also I have this uh, little power bank adapter and light adapter for the Parkside 20 volts batteries and this is gonna be interesting to charge my phone when I need to or even use it as a light on the car and uh, yeah this is an option to use both batteries at the same time if needed but it's always really good to have one ready to go sitting waiting thing is I don't use it very often so maybe i will really use it like a power bank and slash light work light at the car thanks for watching i hope this video helps you let me know if you revived you jump started your power tool cordless power tool battery thanks for watching